Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Tara, and I make Montessori and motherhood videos here on my channel. And today's video is going to be my no-fold laundry method. I first came across the no-fold laundry method from Natalie Bennett, and I was really intrigued when she showed how she does not fold her kids' laundry, and I thought, that sounds amazing. If you have kids of any age, but especially like small kids with these teeny tiny socks and underwear and anyway all that stuff you know that that's like the worst load of laundry to fold um especially when you know that they're just going to like destroy the drawers anyway and you spent all that time folding it so after seeing natalie bennett's no fold laundry system i sort of adapted it for my needs and i wanted to share with you guys how i do no fold laundry in our house so the first thing that I do when I have uh, clean laundry for my kids is I just dump this entire thing out and I sort it. So um, I'm going to sort out pants, shirts, pajamas, underwear, socks. I'm just going to make piles all over the floor for all those different things. That's the very first thing that I do. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that I've got all my laundry here on the floor, all I'm going to do is start pulling items one by one and just laying them out around me. This goes pretty fast because literally all I'm doing is taking the item and just throwing it into a pile. And I do separate out my children, so I'll have a pile of pants for my four-year-old and then there's another pile of pants for my two-year-old. There are a lot of perks of having the same like gender kids because I get to pass down a lot of their clothes but since most of their clothes come from like the same place like Old Navy or Target they also have a lot of the same clothes so the frustrating part in all of this is going through and being like is this for my four-year-old or my two-year-old and I'm often just like checking tags before I put it in a pile. We are in the process of potty learning with my youngest son. He has been like a little bit hesitant to start um, potty training but he recently found some Thomas underwear and he got so excited about it um, we only had like one or two Thomas underwear from when my oldest son was wearing like training underwear so I went and bought um, like a whole actually I think I bought two packs of Thomas underwear because I'm pretty sure this is just all he's going to be in and now he is super excited to wear the underwear. I don't know if he's super excited about sitting on the potty but I've been trying to explain to him that those two things go together. So I'm hoping that that will encourage him to want to continue with his potty training journey because so far um, he's been really clear that he doesn't really care for the potty so I've just not been pushing it because the last thing I want to do is force him to do something that he doesn't want to do but he's very excited about his Thomas underwear we washed them today and he has that's all he's been talking about is how he wants to wear them so um, I'll keep you guys updated on how that goes <laughs> also use this opportunity to um, make any of the items right side out so if anything is inside out from the laundry I'll now turn it in the right way you know what I'm saying now I've got everything in two different piles I've got pants shirts pajamas underwear and socks that pretty much covers everything and now what I do is I just take the underwear because that's the easiest and I put it straight into the basket no folding that's it and the socks I do fold these together um, this is probably the one thing that does get folded it's just personal preference here but I'm sure that there's a no fold sock method that I'm not aware of but socks get folded okay here comes the part that I do a bit differently so most of the people that do the no fold laundry method i see them just put the pants in one drawer just sort of like either laying out like this or just thrown in whichever way but i instead of putting all of my kids clothes in drawers what i do is i hang them up so what i have is pants underneath shirt on top um, technically i'm not folding i'm hanging <laughs> The reason 
reason why I do this is because it makes the rest of my week easier. And I pretty much do this every Sunday. And what I'll do is I'll just take a pair of pants, throw them over the hanger, and then take a shirt that's going to go with it and throw that right over the hanger too. To me, that is so much easier than folding them. The clothes aren't getting wrinkled. They're staying perfectly um, wrinkle-free on the hanger. And, and that took me like five seconds to do. Um, so for me, this is my no-fold laundry method. If I have other clothes left over that I'm not hanging up, I just throw those into a drawer just like you would the regular no-fold laundry method. Um, and then there's just a drawer of pants that are not folded, a drawer of shirts that are not folded that I can go through if I need extra clothes. But yeah, I just hang up um, pairs of clothes like that. It makes it super easy for my son to come, both of my boys to come and pick out their clothes. They're already together matching. Now I have pretty young kids. I have a two-year-old and a four-year-old. So they, um, they don't really have a desire at the moment to pick out full outfits. I can understand that if you have a kid that is doesn't want you to pick out their clothes that this is not you're like okay I'm not gonna do that because they're not going to wear that anyway but if you have little kids who you're kind of picking out their outfits anyway this is a great method it also makes the morning time go by so much easier because I'm not sitting there trying to pick out outfits for my kids and being like oh my gosh I don't have any pants or I don't have a shirt I can easily see what we have do we have enough outfits for the week type of thing I try to keep at least five up here one for each school day so yeah it just it makes the weeks easier it makes folding laundry easier oh and for pajamas I did want to say I group pajamas together this is just pure preference again you could just throw your pajamas in the drawer not a big deal but again for my kids and for ease of use what I usually do is I'll just find the matches like this and I just do something called rolling them like I'm not folding them at all just sort of rolling them together I'll just grab the pants grab the shirt and then I put them together like this just sort of roll them they are not folded at all like if my kids undid this I'm not gonna be like oh my gosh I spent so much time rolling these together no they're just together roll and they don't look half bad honestly um, they kind of look like they're folded but they're they're not all right, that's it. That's my whole no fold laundry method. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys fold your kids laundry or if you also have some sort of take on this no fold laundry method. When I first heard about this no fold laundry method, I was obsessed with it because I was like, this is why are we folding these little teeny tiny pieces of laundry? I mean, if you enjoy doing that, go for it. Um, but if you have like multiple kids especially, I just don't know how people have the time and the patience, especially when you know like toddlers are just going to be pulling their stuff out. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already subscribed, be sure to subscribe to my channel because I put out new videos just like this every week. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!